Hey, hey, Swifties, it's Rachel, and today is November 11th, a.k.a. Um, seven years of Fearless, and so I had to make a video today because this album absolutely changed my life, um, for the better, of course, and um, this was the first Taylor album I ever got, um, and even back then, I didn't realize it then, but I look back on it now, and even then, I was fearless. Um, what I mean by that is, in third grade, I was going to sing Love Story by Taylor Swift in the third grade talent show. And I got in the talent show, but um, unfortunately, they had to give it to an older girl who wanted to sing Love Story too. And I remember I ran out crying to my mom. I was like, Mom, that's my song. Nobody else can sing it. Um, I won't sing any other song than that because they gave me the option to sing another song. Um, and I thought about it and something pushed me to sing another song and that song was All American Girl by Carrie Underwood. But even then, I didn't know it, but I was fearless. Um, you know, I said, oh, well, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Love Story is my song. And but rather than sitting on the sidelines and just letting it get to me, I took that chance and I decided to sing another song. So that's my example of being fearless in the fearless era. <laughs> Anyways, th so that pretty much started my obsession with Taylor. Um, the moment I heard Love Story in 2008, I was obsessed with Taylor. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I think I heard her, of her, like, I think I, like, talked about her before Love Story, but, like, Love Story made me obsessed with her. Like, I think I asked people, I think I was like, do you like Taylor Swift and stuff like that? And maybe, like, second grade, too, but I think third grade was, like, Love Story came out, and I heard my cousin playing it, and she watched the music video, and that was pretty much it, and um, it was on repeat, and it was my absolute favorite song in the world. I ended up buying Fearless with my mom because I needed to practice for the talent show, so I wanted to learn the words and stuff. So that's the reason I got Fearless, but I pretty much just started listening to Fearless every second I got, and um, even the debut album. I don't remember when I got the debut album, but I know it was soon after, like, I got Fearless um, to practice for the talent show. But I remember um, in elementary school, I would drag my huge radio play, like, my CD player into the bathroom and just take long baths just so I could, like, memorize the lyrics and, like, have time to myself, like, to listen to Taylor. And, um, I remember one night I stayed in there so long that the smoke alarms went off in the house, um, because of all the steam from the shower. Yeah. Anyways, um, and then in 2009, I actually looked up Fearless tickets for Charlottesville, um, Charlottesville, Virginia, and it was sold out. And I was really upset because I like I hadn't told my parents that I wanted to go, but I was looking for myself and I was like, Mom, Dad, Taylor Swift is coming, so that didn't work out. But um, yeah. But I just started listening to her and people would say, Yeah, my favorite song by her is Picture to Burn and then I'd go home and I'd listen to Picture to Burn and Yeah, so that's just pretty much how I got started in like the fearless era I became a Swifty so that's really important to me um I remember story behind this Taylor doll I was in North Carolina for my cousin's wedding and we went to Walmart to get like things for the ride home like magazines and snacks and stuff like that and I saw this Taylor Swift doll and I was like, oh my gosh, mom, dad, please, please, please let me get one. Because, like, they had the other ones. I remember that. And I was like, please just let me get one. And so they were like, fine, pick one out. And so I picked this one. 
This was my very first Taylor doll. And, um, yeah, it was just really exciting for me. And, um, I remember going into Justice, because I used to shop in Justice all the time. I got a Taylor t-shirt. It was my first Taylor t-shirt, um, that I ever got. And I'll show you that. So pretty much how it started is I ran, I saw it like on the back wall. I said, Mom, Mom, they have Taylor Swift t-shirts. So look how little. Anyways, um, yeah. But the Fearless Platinum Edition, <laughs> this is funny. I got a Target gift card for Christmas one year. And I was like, Mom, I lost my Fearless copy. I knew right where this CD was. You think I'd lose my Taylor Swift CD? No. So I said, Mom, I lost it. Like, I don't know what happened to it. My, because my mom knew that <laughs> Fearless Platinum Edition um, had more songs on it. And so we joke about it now that I played dumb. But I... I was like, Mom, I lost it, so I'm going to get this one with my gift card because, you know, I lost my other copy, but I just really wanted my Fearless Platinum Edition, okay? But anyways, I just, this album is really special to me, and that's why I decided to make a video today. Um, just because this album changed me, and it changed my life because I discovered Taylor because of this album and it means a lot to me and the songs are so great like I still jam out to fearless like fearless like the song is so great like and I still snap to hey Steven mm -mm 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 -mm. and like change is such a great song they're all such great songs like ugh, breathe like how do you, like, this album is so underrated, and I wish it wasn't, but anyways, guys, I just wanted to say happy seven years of Fearless and share a few of my memories with you guys, and you can tell me your Fearless memories below, and I love you guys, and please put video requests below because I need them, and um, I look forward to talking to you guys in my next video and on my other social media which is in the description i love you guys remember this anyways um i love you guys and happy seven years of fearless and always stay fearless and shake off those haters while you're at it i love you guys bye